I'm humbled. This is it, folks. The Mount Everest of flight stick setups. Though, I don't mean that literally, because thankfully it doesn't require a Sherpa to set up. While I've enjoyed my previous controllers, this Verpal setup brings a whole new level of sophistication and control to my space sims. We're looking at the Verpal Constellation Alpha Prime joysticks on a Warbird D base. They are mounted on a Verpal Desk Mount V4 Small with an additional flight stick Z extension for the left stick. Before we dive in, full disclosure, this video is not sponsored and Verpal hasn't seen it yet. But hey, they did send me this entire package for free, so big thanks to them. Although it wouldn't hurt if they came in a solid gold version, I mean, just saying. We'll be covering everything from unboxing to performance in games with timestamps in the description for easy navigation. So here's the plan. Unboxing galore, because seriously, there are a lot of boxes. Then build quality breakdown, think spaceship grade metal and satisfying clicks. The software configuration, how they perform in games, spoiler alert, amazing. And my experience with Verpal support. So let's finally get going and let me show you what's inside of all these boxes. Every single piece has got its own box since you're completely free to configure your setup how you want it. Different base, no problem. Different grip, even from other companies if compatible, you got it. So first up, the grip. This is the Constellation Alpha Prime, which is available for left and right hand. Unfortunately, due to its construction, it's not possible to switch a grip from left to right hand or vice versa. Inside the box, you'll find the grip completely assembled and secured by foam. My first impression, heavy, durable and built like a tank. Mostly metal with some tough plastic accents. The buttons feel satisfying and nothing's jerky. Verpal even throws in a spare head replacement and some tools for adjusting the stick's behavior and tightening it to the base. By the way, the Alpha Prime grip is compatible with Verpal's Warbird, Mongoose and Rotor bases, as well as to Thrustmaster's Warthog and Cougar bases, although Thrustmaster could have some limited functionality. The stick has got a brake lever, a dual position flip trigger in front of a dual stage trigger, which if both pressed combined can perform a combination trigger, a pinky button, a side mounted four way hat with button, a scroll wheel with another dual stage button. On top it got two more four way hats with buttons, two simple buttons and an analog stick with a button. Please don't play a drinking game while watching this video when every time I say button you need to drink something because otherwise you will be wasted. At the outer side there's another two-way hat with a, you got it, button for your index finger. Plus the handrest is adjustable for maximum comfort. Overall a total of 32 possible buttons and 4 axes built into one stick. Next piece of the puzzle is the Warbird D base. This is a high precision dual cam flight stick base with detachable USB cables and attachable auxiliary devices. Inside the box you'll find the 4 pin to USB cable, 3 different cams and 2 additional set of springs. Then there's the pre-configured base itself, which I will customize in a bit. The beauty of this base is that it comes with a base plate set, so you don't necessarily need a separate mount to use it. You can save some bucks and just use it straight on your desk. The build quality is nothing but exceptional. Again, there's nothing janky. The entire metal body has not a single spot where you could cut yourself and everything else feels like it will last forever. The base itself offers the missing two axes to complete all needed inputs and make it a total of six axes and 32, you got it, buttons for one fully assembled combination. If you're like me and you like your setup to be detachable and easy to stow away, you go for an additional desk mount. Verpal offers three sizes, the mini, the small and the large. They should actually call this the short, the deep and the deeper because they got progressively deeper and offer increasingly lower positions of your devices. Each mount requires an adapter specific to the base you choose. 
In my case, I've already attached the Warbird D base adapter, and funnily enough, it connects to the top of the base. Seems counterintuitive at first, but after using it for a while, I understand it keeps the cables routed more efficiently. So, what's inside the box? It's the pre-assembled mount, almost ready to use with a bunch of screws to attach the adapters. Just like everything else so far, the build quality is rock solid. Every single piece of Verpil's gear so far has this great black grainy coating that makes it nice to touch and to look at. The desk mount version 4 has got the quick release clamp, perfectly adjustable to your desk thickness and easy to lock. Here's a pro tip. When adjusting this, make sure the lever is almost at a 90 degree angle when closed to avoid any unexpected rapid detachment. Now you just need to find a suitable height of your sticks and you connect everything with the provided screws. Remember, keep the round part of the screws at the outside to avoid cutting yourself when you move the gear around. Alright, after unboxing about 10 boxes now, I'm going to customize my base immediately before using it. You can do that whenever you want in your journey, but I knew from the start that my dream setup would utilize the Cosmos sim cams without center point. And that's what made me excited. I couldn't believe that there was a mechanical stick out there that could achieve a completely smooth range of motion. In my mind only, motor-driven full-range sticks are capable of that, although I've never used one. Since the Warbird D is pre-configured with Avia SIM cams with a soft center, I had to change those. Luckily, Verpo provides excellent and detailed instructions on their website for basically anything you need to do with their gear. You'll find a QR code to them on every box, or you can check it out directly on the website at their support portal. Some patience and a little force, and voila, the base changed to Cosmos Sim, no center. I did this for both bases, and on top of that I also swapped the X-axis spring on my left stick to a heavier one. This makes it easier for me to control throttle movements and avoid strafing due to higher resistance. I came up with this when using my VKB Gladiators beforehand, and I like that feeling a lot. A quick addition before I move to gaming. While I love a good two-stick setup, I also prefer having the left stick angled for more comfort. That's why I added this beauty. Just like the sticks themselves, it's made out of durable metal, and what I appreciate most is the adjustable angle. Finding the perfect angle is all about natural hand positioning. Reach out with your left hand, and grab the stick naturally. If it feels comfortable, that's your golden spot. Your wrists will thank you for this little bit of ergonomic consideration. Great, your sticks are built the way you want them. Now off to our PC to configure them. I won't go over the details on how to set up and calibrate them. There's a great video I was following myself, which I will put into the video description, since it's not from Whirlpool. When you follow this guide for the first time, it's confusing with creating profiles and that the stick always disconnects and reconnects, but after some tries and messing around for a while, you should understand the basics and that's enough to get going. Inside their software, there are numerous customizable configurations that you can dive deep into if you like. For me, it's okay to run them as they are and maybe change a single setting here and there. Oh. And very important for your Alpha Primes, you need to, by natural law, mess around with your RGB settings so that they fit your spiritual spaceship cockpit. You know, it's a scientific fact that properly customized RGB lighting in your spaceship cockpit makes you fly 50 meters per second faster. I don't know about your preferences, but I like to fiddle around with new tech and get it to work and do everything around it. So. How about gaming with those Constellation Alpha Primes on Warbird D bases with Z extension attached to desk mounts? Let me tell you, the initial feeling is absolutely mind-blowing. The metal sticks feel incredible in your hands. The Z axis is super responsive. The precision while flying is unmatched and the centerless design is a dream almost come true for smooth control almost because you feel the center a little bit due to the mechanical design, but it's neglectable. Paired with the multitude of buttons readily available for every in-game action, this is exactly how a space sim setup should feel. If done right, you don't even need to take your hands off of those in X4 foundations for any situation. You can even emulate the mouse cursor and buttons. 
However, after spending some quality time with these sticks, I did notice a few minor shortcomings. 1. The cutout for the analog stick is a square instead of a circle and that's odd in my opinion. The edges of the square are a little rough, especially noticeable when using the stick at its maximum angles. I've heard some folks use 3D printed alternatives, but I personally prefer to stick with the original parts. Haha, <laughs> stick, you got it? Talking about 3D printed parts, if you need a high quality filament for your 3D printer, Anycubic got this great high quality lineup of filaments for you to use. If it's PLA, ASA or PETG, they got you covered. Check out the Amazon link in the description to see if your needed filament is on sale right now. Next up, two, and this one is highly subjective. The single buttons at the top could be better. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad by any means, but I've used another stick with buttons that I absolutely loved. They're a bit more clicky, the button was a bit less rounded and the sound was less hollow. Still, they are better than almost anything I've ever used before. And sorry, I can't disclose which stick I was referring to. I know it's dumb, but it is what it is. Number three, it's hard to reach some of the input options. The scroll wheel in the middle is particularly tricky. I can't comfortably use it with the underside of my thumb and have to bend my hand quite a bit. The pinky button on the other hand, or basically on the same hand, is a bit too far out of reach for me. I understand you can't build a one size fits all, but that's just my observation. And for reference, my hand size is medium or a 7. It's important to mention these minor issues because we're talking about a very high tier product. However, they really don't detract from the overall experience in any major way. During your play sessions, there's another great feature of this combo. You can change the behavior of your sticks on the fly. You can lock the Z-axis with a simple screw at the joystick if you need higher precision or you want another device like pedals to handle this axis. The base has got two holes where you can adjust the stiffness of your X and Y axis if you prefer some resistance. You could even change your free roaming throttle to a sticky one. The connection between stick and base allows you to change the angle at which you want to put your stick on to the base which is another great customization. If you prefer, for example, to grab your stick slightly turned inside or outside, that's absolutely no issue at all. One of the considerations, especially when buying top tier equipment, is the level of after sales support offered. Buying such an expensive piece of gear, you want to make sure that the company is able to handle all your requests and help you whenever possible. I tried out their customer support to help me with an issue that was basically my fault. Not only did they respond quick to my message, but stayed in touch until the issue was fixed, providing guidance through the entire process. Verpal's user-friendly customer support dashboard allowed me to easily track the entire process on a single page. When there's something wrong or missing or you need a replacement, the company tries to help you out as much as they can. Knowing they're readily available to assist with any questions or concerns adds a layer of reassurance and completes the overall positive package. In total, this has been a fantastic experience. Every time I grab these sticks, I'm filled with joy. And I will just ignore the fact that I never told you that you need to configure your sticks in every game for hours before you can actually use them. And you know what? I just tell you to watch the video I did about that exact part of your HOTUS journey, which you can click on right here on screen. Oh, and you can expect a second video once I'm fully adjusted to those sticks. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.